Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, share, subscribe, like this video, we're doing this video old school. Not had internet, the power's been off here over and over and over for the last two days, it's been bad. Like yesterday's videos, I had to go to find Wi-Fi to get them things to upload, but so far so good. Until this storm that you see out there brewing, probably takes it off again, don't know what's going on. But it's, it's been fun. If you see all the trees and all the damage over there, you can see that it's been storm after storm here. And just been fun process, I have to say. Leave your prayer request in the bottom. Always make sure of that. I did get a message this morning from the Lord. I did have a dream, and we're going to discuss that. I understood what it meant. I don't want to understand what it meant, but I understood what it meant. You know about me a lot of times god will give me stuff i don't want to know and stuff that but he seems to always know that no matter what happens i will listen to it and understand it and know what i have to do with it because i'm not one of those people that but their minds are made up on everything so when god gives me a warning i know what it means and what i have to do with it i don't say well no 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 it's got to be now. It's got to be now. It's got to be now. I'm not one of those people. And that's why he gave it to me, I'm sure. But there's a big process. Like months ago when I saw the San Francisco earthquake. And then I saw five trumpets. We've been constantly getting the fives. Constantly getting the fives. And I got them again last night. Over and over and over and over. And I knew they meant something else. Everybody's like, they mean Abba and everything. Yes, they do mean these things in Strong's, but that's not what God's telling me, and I knew that. The Holy Spirit was telling me that's not what it, what it meant. So, last night, just like that dream, I had another one just like it. And it's been a while since I've had one like this. But it was very detailed. Very detailed on what I saw. I saw five rooms. Then I saw five sets of she shells. Now, weeks ago, I saw a wallet. My wallet was full of fives. Just everything was fives. So here we are with these fives, 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 fives. Then, see, after seeing the, the fives of these, I saw a fox. The fox turned from a cat to a fox. I know it sounds strange, but this is what I saw. Then I saw two basketballs. I was carrying around two basketballs. And then I was back in school. Now, I have, it's been a long time since I've been in school, people. A long time. I'm kind of old. But in the dream, I had a smartphone. And even in the dream, I was like, why do I have a smartphone? There was no smartphones when I was in school. But in the dream, I had a video on four turkeys. Four turkeys. It's kind of like a... Kim Fisher's always sending me funny pictures of myself as a turkey. Kind of looked like the same pictures. And, uh, but there was four of them. And when I saw the picture, there was four turkeys. And then after that, I saw a stairway. Which I assumed that's the stairway to heaven. Which would be the rapture. And like I said, I understood the dream. I know what it means. And a lot of people's not going to like it. But I know, I mean, the Holy Spirit's been warning me and warning me and warning me that a lot of people are going to fade away. They're going to get mad and they're going to quit very soon. I'm not talking to those who don't have channels. I'm actually talking about those who do have channels. They're going to get very aggravated. And I've got to warn everybody not to do that. We've got to stick in this thing up until the end. That's what the dream was warning me about. I knew as soon as I got up, the Holy Spirit told me. We don't know when it's going to happen, okay? I understand this. But what the Holy Spirit's telling me, that if these, these days go, come to pass, and they go, and they, nothing happens, we do not stop. We keep going up until the last moment. We can't fade away. That's what the Holy Spirit was warning me about. It was warning me not about the... The them is warning me about the channels, the watch women and the watch men themselves of getting so discouraged and giving up. And that's what it was warning me about. It actually warning me about myself. That if 
say we're here and then September comes and goes too. Not to give up. The Holy Spirit was warning me about it. That's why I saw the four turkeys. I do believe we could go longer than what we think. It's very possible, but we can't give up. We can't give up. Like I said, I don't know the time, don't know the day and the hour. I'm not one of these people who say, well, it's going to happen in September. It's going to have a feast of trumpet. I, I will never do that. You know, I saw five trumpets. That, that doesn't mean that that's going to happen at that time. It just means that somewhere in that time frame, from there or even after that time frame, we leave. I don't know when. He didn't give me a date. Let me tell you something. God's been giving me stuff for, gosh, so many, many years. So many years. And a lot of times, I never understand them. He gives me numbers, and I'm just, I'm, we do our best to even understand what they mean. A lot of times, it takes years before they manifest. Okay? The difference is between then and there is now we know we're in the season. We see everything, the seven-year covenant, everything that's coming up in September. That does not mean we're leaving there. But I will tell you this. We're in the season of World War III. I know this for a fact. I've seen it. Now, I do believe we leave right before World War III happens. We might even see the first rockets going across the air when the rapture happens. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you I do know because I don't. I'm not one of those people on here that acts like they know everything because I don't. Listen, I'm just like you. That's why God tells me things. He knows I'm always open. To no matter what it is, I'll listen. That's why he comes to me with these things. He knows that I'll get mad at first. Because I want to be out here just like everybody else. But I will listen and do my job. I will suck it up and get back on the horse and do my job. He knows that. He just knows that about me. I don't have no pride. None. Zilch. I know that a lot of this stuff's way over my head. I don't claim to be smart by any means because I'm not. I just listen. That's why I tell you I'm not no prophet. I don't never claim to be a prophet. I'm not a prophet. I'm just a little Joe Smo from up a holler that God speaks to and I listen. That's it. Bottom line, I have no gifts. I have no gifts at all. If I do have any gifts, it's seeing the signs and understanding the signs that where we are. Now that I'm good at. I'm good at seeing the math and everything that God's doing, just like verses 23 and verses 24 through the Bible given one that's a vision of the rapture 24 is judgment i i'm good at the smita cycle stuff like that stuff like that i'm very good at and he knows that do i know we're in the season absolutely positively but we're in a time where everybody's watching these different things and we can't give up if something would come and go say now and in september if these months do come and go I have seen Halloween a blue million times. Now he's gave it to me. He gave it to me again last night. Halloween. I don't know what is going to happen in October, people. I don't know. But I keep seeing it. And it's just over and over and over and over. Does that mean we're leaving in October? No. It could mean that October is the warning that we're getting ready to leave. That's very possible. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I know because I don't. I just know he keeps showing it to me. Could that be when the tribulation starts? Very possible. Very possible. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I know, because I don't. Every time I've dreamed about October, it's been very dark. Every time. Never, every time. But that also could just mean that that is the warning point of the rapture getting ready to happen and the tribulation getting ready to start. Listen, we all want to get out of here. Trust me, I know. Trust me, I am the number one. I want it to happen today. I want off this evil planet. I see where it's going. But the Lord's telling me, do not stop trying to get people on that ark up and, until we are absolutely, positively see that hole up in the sky. You don't quit doing your videos. You don't give up. You keep chugging up until we're gone because it's souls, people. That's why we're here at this moment. It's souls. There is no other reason why we're doing these, these videos, okay? It's to save the lost if you're in it for any other reason, you don't need to be in it. Just get out of it. Because that's the only thing important from this point on. And that's what the Holy Spirit's telling me. You don't quit trying to save souls up until the time we... Don't not sit back, get on your couch and say, Okay, I'm done. We're getting ready to leave. That's what the Holy Spirit's warning me about. 
We can't be complacent at this time. This is the most important time in the history of watchmen and watchwomen around the world of getting this message out that we are in the last days. That's why I'm doing this video is to let everybody know you are watch women and watch men also. We've got to do our job up until that hole opens up in that sky and the trumpets start blaring. We got to do our jobs. Try to get as many people on that ark as possible. That is our job. It's not it's no other job to it. That's it. It's saving souls, people. That's that's why God talks to us. That's why he gives us the information. He don't give it to you to to just play around with it. It's to save souls. It's not to sit, sit back at your house and quit. And okay, well, you know, I'll just sit here, you know, which you can, you're still saved. But the Holy Spirit's warring against it. Because God wants us to keep doing what we're doing up until we're out of here. You might see Feast of Trumpets as a grand old proper time. That's it, but that's not... It could come and go easily. Does that mean you quit? No. You keep chugging along. We save souls until we're out of here. Do we hear that chauffeur? We don't quit. So if you're listening out there, you other channels, understand. We keep doing this. I don't care if high rapture times keep going and they leave, they go, they leave. We do not stop until that hole opens up. Because saving souls is what we do. Bringing people to Jesus, that is the job, people. When you love Jesus, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. And God gave me all that information, just one thing after another, and I pieced it together. And I knew what it was, and trust me, I didn't want to hear it. That's why I knew it was from God. I didn't want to hear it myself. Tell me we might be here a little longer. I didn't want to hear it. That's how I knew it was from God. Because sometimes, but he knows I'll take it. He knows that I, I'll throw a little temper tantrum for about 20, 30 minutes. And then I will get back on the horse and do what I got to do. It's why we're human. That's why, you know, I want to be with Jesus. I don't want to be here another month. Heck, I want to be out here tomorrow. The Holy Spirit is telling me to take your time, do your jobs, get people on the ark. Steady the ship, Chris. Steady the ship. Don't leave brothers and sisters behind as much as you can. I hear you, Lord Jesus. And I understand. And that's what I will do up until that hole opens up. I am here with you guys. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to get discouraged every time all this stuff is happening. Even though I know right now it's such a good time that we can get out of here. If it comes and goes, I'm not leaving you guys. I will be here to steady the ship as much as I can. And, you know, God's just warning me. Warning me, warning me. We got to keep our, we got to keep focus right now, especially right now. Right now, especially. Because a lot of people are holding on right now by a thread and duct tape. I'm one of them. Trust me. I see the evil coming, and I know it's here. I know it's the season. But until we're out of here, we keep getting people on the ark as much as we can, okay? And like I said, it can still happen tomorrow. It can still happen next week. But what the Holy Spirit's telling me is, Chris, no matter what, getting people on the ark is the only important job. These days come and go. But make sure that we're trying to save the lost up until it happens. I understood the dream. Could it mean we're going to be here longer, a little longer? I don't know. Could be. Could be not. Sometimes God just challenges us. And I think that's probably, maybe that's what it is. Don't know. Like I said, a lot of times I get stuff from God. Don't understand it whatsoever. Some people are going to hear this. They're going to get mad. Some people are going to understand it. Trust me, I'm one of the ones that got mad. But I understand what the Lord's telling me. September might come and go. August might come and go. September might come and go. You don't quit until the hole opens up. 
You don't quit doing videos. You don't quit telling people time is up. And I understand it. And I understand, Lord, and I shall obey, and I will do what you have told me to do. I have spread this through the Internet on this channel as of today. The other watchmen and watchwomen, they know. They can't say that I never told them. So, besides that, Iran's getting ready to test a nuclear weapon. So that means they do have one. Which makes sense in the time we're in. Russia's getting ready to test another nuclear weapon for the first time since probably the 40s or 50s. I can't remember when. It's been a long time. But they're going to start doing live tests, which has been banned by the world. And they're starting, they don't really care. Poland and Belarus are getting ready to go to war any day now. Poland is just itching to go to war, and so is Belarus. They've got these nice, fancy nukes. And I've already tell you, Belarus plays a major role in World War III. I've already told you. I've already seen it. Everything's there, people. Everything. Israel and Saudi Arabia is just the icing on the cake of splitting Israel down the middle of her enemies on her border as she's in civil war with, each other, with, each, with herself. Israel is splitting down the middle as we speak. And we already know from the Bible that it does split. We already know what's coming. It's called Jacob's trouble, not the church's trouble. That's why the rapture is real. That's why nobody tells you. They think they're Jews. They're not Jews. The ones left behind here that does not get raptured are the Jews and the unbeliever, unbelievers. Blah. And literally, it's called Jacob's trouble, people. The seven-year tribulation is called Jacob. It's not called the church's trouble. They don't teach these post- and mid-trip people this, evidently. But it doesn't say the church, because the church accepted Jesus. We get removed just like Lot and Noah did. But it's like, well, that's never happened before. Oh, yeah, it has. Yeah, he removed Lot. He removed Noah. He's always removed the ones who accepted him. And these people are about to find that out the hard way. Once again, you can't tell people. Ignorance. Can't tell them. Don't want to hear it. Do not want to hear it. Just like they didn't want to hear it in Noah's time. They just did not want to hear it. And here we are again. Same thing. They don't want to hear it. And their pride will not let them hear it or even want to hear it. Because they know everything. They know more than God. That's what's scary about this world. They know everything more than what they... They all think they're smarter than God. There's so many today that they think that they're smarter than God. See, they did that also when Jesus was here. They called them Pharisees. Oh, I know the scripture, I know the scripture, I know the scripture. And he's like, you don't know nothing. You know the scripture, but you didn't know I was, I was here, right in front of you. And that's exactly what would happen today. Oh, I, I, I've had 30 years of training, Bible school. And Jesus could be right in front of them, they'd never know it. Just because you have the greatest knowledge of scripture doesn't mean you know God. It just doesn't. You got to be in the Holy Spirit. You got to see things. And a lot of people, they can sit and study all day long, but they don't have, they're not in the Spirit. They have no clue whatsoever. It's not all about brain knowledge, people. You could read that Bible and be an expert at it and not know Jesus easily. Happened to the Pharisees, and it's happening today because they don't see in the Spirit. It's, got, it's got, kind of like a double fold. You can, it's kind of good when you got them both, but some of them only have one doesn't mean they're not saved. It just means that they don't see a lot of things. God's talking to them and they don't want to see it because they think they're, they know all the knowledge of the Bible and that's all they need. And that's not all it. You got to know Jesus. You know, Jesus, you, you can know his words so great and not know nothing when it comes to Jesus. He's talking to you. A lot of people just won't shut up and listen. I know, I've been like that. Many, many times I wouldn't shut up and wouldn't listen to the Lord. You know, sometimes you just got to shut up and listen. But people won't shut up. God talks to everybody, but they don't want to hear it. Because they don't think they need Him. They've got everything they need. They don't need God. And that's where we live in this world that's falling apart at the seams. Half the world right now is on fire. We've got fish floating to the surfaces in places where they're dying from the water is so hot. We've got volcanoes erupting all over the earth, earthquakes every which direction. Another major one today. It's every day, 
All the signs are there that we're getting ready to leave. But we keep doing our job up until, until that chauffeur goes off. We keep doing videos and we keep trying to reach the loss. That's what the Holy Spirit told me. And I shall obey. In Jesus' name. I understand, Lord. Thank you for telling me. With all this stuff happening, I understand that we are in the last days. I understand we are in the last days. We don't know the time of the hour. We don't. Anybody says they do, they don't. Nobody knows. We know we won't be caught as a thief in the night because we're all watching. So we're not going to be caught off guard when it does happen. We know we're in the season. We, are, we see all the birth pains, the prophecies being fulfilled. All of us there. So we're not going to be caught off guard. But we keep doing our jobs up until that, that chauffeur goes. That's what we do. I love each and every one of you. I don't see you here from you again. I'll see you in heaven.